Network. TFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 1 p.m. update. Currently, we've got a little bit of a mixed bag out here. You've got the Dow up 255. S&P is up six points. The NASDAQ 100 down 56. Spot volatility is off a buck 11, trading out to 3108. That's below. It's 50-day exponential moving average. That's always bullish for the S&P 500. Gold's off a buck, silver down 24 cents. Light sweet crude is up 17 pennies. So let's go take a look at the, some uh, screens out here. Let me get the uh, screen here going. Let's start by taking a look at the S&P 500 and see what it is we know. We'll focus uh, during this a couple minutes here on the S&P and the NDX 100. So what took place yesterday inside the S&P? Well, on the cash uh, contract, that's what we're looking at right now, it generated a Rhodes Momentum Indicator top. It also generated a uh, wave number seven, that's letter G, out there, as well as a TD nine count. So you got three, you got a triple. You got a triple crown out here inside the S&P 500, meaning a topping pattern. Now, it's very possible that the counter trend rally is over. If we were going to pick a counter trend rally point, we would choose Stevie's green line. That's priced at 3176, about the high of today's session. So an absolute sell signal because we got three different patterns out here, all that uh, were confirmed yesterday and continue to be confirmed here with a with as long as price closes below Stevie's green line. If it doesn't, then price is just going to be trading in between support and resistance. That green line could become support. Right now, it is resistance. If we go take a look at the ES Mini, the reason why, first, Stevie's green line on a daily basis would be a logical place for a counter trend rally to end. Uh, if we take a look at the 30 minute time frame chart here for the ES Mini, this really uh, helps us to, to, to draw that conclusion, at least as of 102 in the afternoon. Why is that? Well, first of all, if you take a look at the high that formed out here, Rhodes Momentum Indicator top, now this is not a 30 minute time frame. So the, the patterns work on, the, uh, on, on all charts, all instruments, all time frames. Take a look at this morning's bottom. This morning, we were going to go short in the newsletter this morning. and uh, But then all of a sudden, there was a push down into the 9 o'clock time frame that triggered the Rhodes Momentum Indicator signal. And my message was, no, 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 we don't do that. Why? Because we should see some type of bounce or rally. And that's exactly what took place inside the ES Mini at 10 o'clock. But look at where price ran into resistance. The top of its European opening range, 3164. That's why in the S&P 500, the counter trend rally may be done. Hey, stay tuned, folks. We couldn't get to everything. Stay tuned for the uh, 1 o'clock show, The Trader's Edge. If you're off to start your Tuesday, have a terrific one. We look forward to seeing you soon. Take care.